Hey guys, Alaha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to be showing you this look here. Looks simple, but it's not not in the sense that it's hard to do or anything, but I'm gonna be showing you a brand new technique. The foundation that I use is a bunch of random colors like turquoise and salmon and yellow and white, and I create a foundation out of that. So if you wanna learn how to get this look, please stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with my Milk Makeup Moisturizer. I've really been loving this moisturizer lately. I tried it for the first time a little over a month ago and truly it's amazing. It's super hydrating and on top of that it helps my makeup last all day because it's super emollient which is very important for me. I just rub this all over my face. The next thing I go in with is my YSL Beauty Touche Clot Blur Primer. This is my millionth time using this primer. I'm super familiar with it, but I haven't used it in a long time and I forgot how much I love it. And I also like to prime my under eyes because again, this is another hydrating product that really puts that moisture back into my skin. So here's the star of the show. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I know this is a little on the pricey side, but when I show you what this palette can do, you'll understand why. These are very pigmented, and the first color I go in with is the white shade, and I dot this all over my face randomly, no specific pattern. White is going to be one of the most used colors. Then I go in with the yellow, and I dot this all over my face as well, because I do have a slightly yellow undertone. And next, I go in with a salmon shade because also you need this in order to make the proper shade for your skin. Um, this is really going back to color theory. You guys are probably like, what the heck is she doing? But just trust the process. You do have some salmon tones in your skin, girl. And if you're deeper skin, then you would wanna go with that magenta color. Then I go in with this like, turquoise blue shade here. And this will help balance out all those other colors. Then, here's the magic. I blend this all out with my foundation brush. You can use a beauty blender if you'd like. And look at that. It is the exact shade of my skin. So if you see that it's a little bit too yellow for you, Go ahead and mix in that coral shade a little more to kind of balance that out and make it more neutral. If you see that it's too pink for you, go ahead and add some of that, some more of that yellow in there to balance out. And here I am just showing you guys how this works. Like you'll see here, it's a little yellowy green. So I went ahead and added some of that salmon shade and look at that, it looks just like my skin. I did that for a little extra coverage in these areas because for some reason my skin was super red today. And I'm not sure if it's because I used the new, well, actually, I'm pretty positive it's because I used the new exfoliator the night before I filmed this. And it kind of irritated my skin a little bit, which is no bueno. But see, it's looking a little bit yellow on camera. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the lights that were reflecting, but it was actually a perfect match in person. Then I go in with my Too Faced Cosmetics Concealer. This is the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I just conceal and highlight as I normally would over my foundation. So I like to do the under eyes, the nose, the forehead, the chin, and a little above my Cupid's bow just for, I don't know, good luck, I guess. <laughs> then I just use my smaller foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Instapop Cheek Brush, and I just use this to um, blend everything out. Now to set all this in place, I go in with my Huda Beauty setting powder. This is in the shade Banana Bread and I'm just using a powder puff here to apply this to all those areas that we concealed to ensure that it doesn't go anywhere. 
Um, I do apply a good amount of powder because I really want this to just stay in place, but I don't necessarily bake because I don't leave this on for too long. Then I take the cap full and I just dust whatever powders on my face onto the rest of my face to set everything in place so I can go ahead and bronze contour and you know, the whole deal. Then I'm going in with this Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Shady Biz and I'm applying this for my nose contour and then I also like to apply this to my cheeks. This gives me a two-in-one effect. It contours and it bronzes up my cheeks, which I love. I like more of like a orangey red contour for my skin tone, but if you're on the lighter side, you would want to go in with an ashier color because this wouldn't look right on you. And then if you're on the deeper side, you would want to go for something obviously deeper in color, so a couple of shades darker than this. Then I'm going in with the OG in my life. This is the MAC Cosmetics uh, highlighter. This is in the shade Soft and Gentle. Man, this was a staple both in my kit and my personal makeup bag for years. And I decided to pull it out today because I haven't used it in probably like six months and I really wanted to, you know, use it today. Then I'm going in with my Milani Cosmetics Luminoso Blush. This blush is so beautiful, guys. I don't think a lot of people know about it, but it's like a pearly pink color. It's so beautiful. Like it, it's just really pretty. Try it. And it's affordable, by the way. I forgot to highlight my nose and my um, brow bone, so that's what I just did. And then I go in with this ColourPop Cosmetics Lip Liner. The shade is linked in the description below because I can't remember the shade right now. And then this is from the Mulan collection. I think this is the only red lipstick they have in that collection. This is the liquid lipstick, and it's like the perfect red, and it's very comfortable and pigmented. So I love it, and I approve. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this little quick 101 on color theory. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun filming this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications so you're notified every time I upload a new video. With that being said, I hope you guys are all staying safe out there and staying healthy, eating well, exercising at home, girl, and playing in lots of makeup. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.